Good morning, YouTube. You ever have a pile of scrap wood just laying in your workshop or your garage, just taking up space and you can't figure out what to do with it? But you gotta do something because it's just piling up. That's what the theme of today's video is. So I built a shelf not too long ago and decided, you know what, we haven't done pine board stuff in a very, very long time. And I'm sure people are getting tired of watching me build epoxy stuff. So doing strictly wood project today. So got everything measured out, had these boards, they're about two feet in length, had to cut those down to size, trying to do like a very large project. And if you watched my video a couple of weeks back, I kind of did this bowl that was kind of small, tried to do some accent pieces on it, and it just turned out horrible. So that's kind of the theme that we're doing today. We're just trying to make everything uh, kind of cooler than our previous wood project video. So if you're curious, this is what happens to glue when your shop is like, 100 plus degrees all the time it comes out like cottage cheese but if you give it a good stir with a stick uh, typically it'll just mold right back out so got this glued up the way that we want to copious amounts of glue use a glove because I didn't have a brush available and all we're doing is just spreading that out don't be stingy with it gonna glue everything up and then my favorite part the uh, the vice grips come out and then all the glue is going to pour out of it and that's how you know you got a good seal because these boards are not even they're kind of wonky so don't be stingy with your grips how many you know how many grips does a woodworker need always one more always one more and i've had these since the beginning so a couple of days later i think it was probably about a week by the time i got you know a hold of this thing so i could actually turn it on the lathe uh taking everything off everything's glued up really nice and tight so I'm not too worried about that. And now all we gotta do is get these edges taken off. And I didn't show you that part, but I'm gonna do some other videos a little bit later where we show that portion of it. So faceplate stuck on there. Get that nice and nailed down really good. Try to center it the best you can. Boom, boom, and boom. Looks good to me. So then we throw that onto our lathe here. Great thing about pine board, it's super light, it's not heavy, it turns really well on a lathe. So if you have a midi lathe and you're just getting into wood turning, would recommend the use of pine. It's it's probably one of the better materials to work with when you're beginning. Or even when you're like have been doing this for five years like me nearly, it's it's really fun material. Because it eats through the chisels really, or the chisels eat through it really well, and you don't have a lot of issues here. And we didn't have a lot of issues here. Once we took the edges off, it, you know, didn't give me any real problems. All we're trying to do is make this like a deep, like bowl kind of presentation to it. So, got that all done and taken care of. Now we're just flattening out the bottom of it and trying to make sure the banjo doesn't hit the uh, actual piece itself and explode because when I first got into woodworking, go back and watch my real old videos, really, really uh, difficult type of projects back in the day because I didn't know what I was doing. But here we go, now we're just making the mortise and this this part, I, I love working with pine when you're just gouging it out like this, when you're going with the grain. It looks really cool, it's really easy. Sizing up the chuck, almost made it a little bit too big because, uh, yeah, because I'm just eating through it so fast. So once we got that done, now all we're doing is taking off the faceplate. We're going to get that reverse on the chuck and see what we can gouge out of it. So trying to hurry up and get this commentary done because today is September 2nd. You guys are watching this uh, on September 3rd, Sunday, obviously. There's a little slow-mo action for you. This is what wood shavings look like in slow motion. It's really cool, though. I like this. It's, it's, you know, epoxy is one way and wood obviously is another. But anyway, it's it's the first week of college football. So trying to get this done because my wife is yelling at me to, you know, do stuff around the house. But it's college. College football is on. So if you guys aren't watching my videos on Sundays, football season's back. And I'm not upset about it because I get it. Football's back. That takes over my entire life. So not too worried about it but anyway if you are watching the video thanks for watching really appreciate that got a lot of projects done this labor day weekend so you guys are getting a, a lot of uh, me which is good uh anyway so all we're doing now is just flattening everything out nice and even another slow eye. this thing is still in slow motion this is the first time i've been watching this edit i can't believe i put this much slow motion in this hey but meh it'll be fine so 
just getting everything nice flat and even you can see there's a little bit of wobble there on the actual bowl itself at least I can feel it in the chisels while I'm doing this is probably why I decided to slow this down because what my concern always with these projects is it's gonna like fly off the way which is usually my big concern but everything's nice flat and even not a whole lot of problems here and now we're gonna start the gouging part I think I think that's where this is going this is the first time I'm watching this edit so boom there we go fast motion again getting everything nice and even gouging it out really really fast not a whole lot of problems here again pine board is really fun to work with and when you I, I i have so much of it in my workshop right now i'm trying to eat through all of it because it's about to be winter shoot it'll still be 100 degrees in october here in texas but i'm trying to get through it so i can uh get some other stuff that i want to add to the shop but once we got to this part not a whole lot of issues here we're just gouging it to a nice depth and making sure we don't go too far in the pine board because if you do, you're going to punch through the mortise and then you're obviously going to have problems. But not a whole lot of problems here. It just looks really nice and big. And I also did another project like this, uh, except that one's going to be shown in a couple of weeks from now. But here's uh, the end product, but it's not the end of the video. We still got a lot of stuff to do to it, obviously. So here's all the dust and the pine shavings and everything spread out everywhere it just looks uh looks pretty cool and it smells really good i like the smell of pine it's, pine smells really really good but sanded it we went from 120 all the way up to 180 and this part didn't take very long to do not a whole lot of uh fanciness here just uh getting everything nice and smoothed out because the next part is torching it and I can't think of anything else other than torching pine to kind of make it pop because it's so boring. But I love the way it looks like when you burn it. So really happy with this part. I just kind of overcooked it. I tend to overcook it a little bit. So this part, I was like, man, it's, it's on fire, but it's not roasting yet. So you just want to get a good char on there. And then we took out the Dremel. So I learned my lesson from the previous video. Uh... If you go back and watch my video titled uh, wood turning a hot piece of garbage I really screwed that up so this one I really wanted to take my time and this is a kind of cool fun little montage here just doing uh, holes really close together on the bottom of the bowl or the face of the bowl this turned out really really cool I like how this texture looks it took forever though and I'm six foot two, so having to like bend down and do this for like 30, 40 minutes kind of will take its toll. So just going section by section, just trying to get everything, you know, gouged. It's not even gouging. It's just mostly just putting these little accent pieces on them. And I need to do more projects like this where I put, you know, different types of things on it. But this is like generation two of making this bowl. And initially I was going to do the entire bowl, but I just decided just to do... Uh, the front portion of the bowl or the actual in, inner portion of the bowl then I just came back hit it some, with some wood wax we try to take off a majority of that char and it looks really cool I like it the picture doesn't really do it justice but I really like how this looked just taking a simple piece of pine and making something kind of cool out of it so hope you guys like it it's Sunday hope everybody's having a good weekend we just came back and hit it with some lacquer just to you know seal it up but anyway I'm rambling now it's football college game days on I gotta go but I hope you guys liked it hope that everybody's having a good weekend a good Labor Day weekend and I'll see you guys in the next one all right peace all right so project is done and I gotta say, we did a lot better on this one than we did with our previous bonus project that we did a couple of weeks back. Lacquer is set up real nice and dry. It's, you can rub your fingers on it and you're gonna get that soot all over it. But I was gonna do the entire thing, but I looked at the, just the inside of it and I was happy with just how that had turned out. So pretty cool, something a little bit different. I still have a bunch of pine to get through. So we're probably gonna do some similar bowls like this in the future maybe do like a four stack instead of just the simple three i just kind of wanted to see how this one turned out uh but overall not a whole lot of problems i'm sure i went through in the commentary working with pine super duper easy so it just mows right through the uh uh through the chisels so 
Overall, really happy how this turned out. So I hope you guys liked it. It's not epoxy, so you guys should be super stoked about that because uh, as much as I just do these projects because I love to do them, I love making stuff that I like to make, but even I sometimes, the repetitiveness of doing kind of the same project kind of weighs on you a little bit, but I like doing these kinds of projects. This one looks really cool, so uh, if you like it, great. If you don't, uh, too damn bad. So. Uh, but I like this. I like the way it looks. It looks a lot better than the other one. So, hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, it's actually 11 o'clock on a Sunday. It's like the 26th, I think. Uh, and it's about 88 degrees in the shop. So, uh, I'm going to get inside, start some other projects, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.